Bamboo mosaic virus is part of a large family of what are called flexible filamentous plant viruses, and they infect an enormous range of, um, of plants. Our interest was not primarily on the virus that infects bamboo, but just using it as a representative member of this huge class of viruses. The structural studies of the flexible filamentous plant viruses actually began more than 75 years ago in London by one of the pioneers in what we call structural virology, uh, J.D. Bernal, but those studies got nowhere. We have this new microscope with a very advanced detector which has provided the big breakthrough that's allowed us after more than 75 years of work by others in the field for the first time to determine the atomic structure. That is, we can account for all the atoms in the protein and the RNA that make up the virus. They are very important in terms of agriculture. They account for about half of the agricultural crop damage due to viruses, which is tens of billions of dollars. But our main interest is in terms of biotechnology and biomedical applications because these viruses are completely non-toxic and we actually eat them every day in large quantities. They can be used for many medical applications as platforms for vaccines. We're basic scientists and we're most thrilled, not necessarily by the potential for future applications, but just by finally understanding something that's been a puzzle for so many years as to how this virus can be put together in such a way that it is flexible. And we understand that now, that it involves these protein arms that extend out from every subunit that make multiple contacts with surrounding subunits. So for us, that's the great thrill.